<laughs> Ronald Reagan, you are an immigration uh, lawyer. And uh, so you would have particular insight into the huge danger that uh, mm -hmm. that uh, the the uh, women and children and men who are uh, in Mexico, a thousand miles away from the border, walking towards us, represent to this country. Right. Uh, this is a clip of Secretary uh, Nielsen of the uh, Department of Homeland Security. She is being asked by, who is it uh, on, on Fox News here? Is it Mar Martha McCallan? Uh, Martha McCallan. I think it's Cobra. The <laughs> Sylvester Stallone is right. Cobra. She's the got those glasses. They are wearing uh, the Ray-Bans, and uh, they're both there. <laughs> it's almost like they're interviewing the, each other, themselves. But uh, be, be that as it may... <laughs> Uh, Martha McCallan is the premier journalist uh, at Fox, or she bills herself, I think it is that. Myself. Are she, Guatemalan scary? Yes, indeed, self. There are um, 2,500 2, people, uh, mostly families, uh, walking because uh, they don't have the resources to, uh, uh, to come in another safe way through Mexico, presumably headed to the United States, although... We don't know how many of them are ultimately, but let's assume all of them are. And they're, it's not exactly a surprise attack, right? Because we have over a month's worth of notice that they're walking towards us. Isn't this what, isn't this what Reagan said could happen? Right. This is, this is the Sandinistas. We're just, uh, you know, a, a five week walk away from our Southern border. They're walking well, right over the border, said. but no one can say it because now, of political Now, Fortunately, it appears like uh, Department of Homeland Security is prepared for this. Let's listen to this uh, exchange. Is there any scenario under which if people force their way across the border, they could be shot at? We do not have any uh, intention right now to shoot at people. They will be apprehended, however. Uh, but I also take my officer and agent uh, uh, their own personal safety extraordinarily seriously. Uh, they do have the ability, of course, to defend themselves. So if shot at, they would shoot back. No, I just, I think we'd have to work through that. But I want to make it very clear, we will absolutely not tolerate violence against Border Patrol in this situation. These are dedicated men and women risking their lives every day. I will not tolerate Mexicans or anybody else acting uh, in a violent way towards our men and women on the border. Has there been any any notion that these people are armed or are interested in actually shooting at American border agents as a way of busting through the border with their kids. <laughs> I, I like that they thought it was a question that needed to be asked. Like what would American law enforcement do if shot at by a Brown person? Right. Like as, <laughs> as if we have any doubt, uh, what would happen? Um, no. And you know, there, I think, uh, there was an ICE Twitter account that tweeted out uh, that there were some people in the crowd with gang ties, which, first of all, if you already know that, it should be super easy to keep them out of the country. <laughs> if you've already been able to run background checks and, and suss out like uh, or suss out who who has criminal history, then it's going to be super easy by the time they get to the border to just not let those people in. Um let me ask you this. But yeah, I mean, if we if we thought there were ridiculous. violent if we thought there were violent gang members in that caravan, uh, and we could take them off the violent playing field for five or six weeks because they were taking a they were doing a walkathon, essentially, would that not be <laughs> great? I mean, to like to have like all of these gang members sidelined for a month because they're walking through Mexico on a walkabout seems to me to be um, quite advantageous to everybody involved. They went from violence to being human rights protesters. Right. That sounds like a good evolution. This is D Dia. It seems like the worst way to, to try and sneak into the country, like in a giant group that's on the news every day. Um, so yeah, it actually makes the, the job a lot easier for, um, border patrol. I mean, basically what I think will probably end up happening, what happens in like Tijuana is, uh, we've actually given over a lot of the, the power to the, uh, the Mexican government to basically create like a, a waiting list. They give out certain numbers of people who can come and, and present themselves. And, and there's actually a lawsuit on that right now. Um, 
and my guess is they'll um, try and get the Mexican government to um, basically implement some sort of lottery system or a waiting list, and the people will get to um, Tijuana or wherever they're going, and they'll just sort of languish there while we um, let in, you know, 10 people a day for interviews. Um, but yeah, I mean, I had court yesterday in Seattle. I tweeted about this and, and there was a lady from Guatemala and her two little girls and they didn't speak Spanish. They speak a a dialect and, and the judge asked if she spoke Spanish and she like couldn't answer that question. And so he kept asking her more questions in Spanish. Um, anyway, it was, yeah, this is immigration court for you. But, um, you know, I sat there and just, watch these two little girls who were scared and like didn't really know what was going on and uh to think about the journey of of this woman and what she's probably been through and um and you know it's uh, to and then to imagine living a life where these people uh where you felt threatened by these people in any way is uh it's really sad um but you know, there's mechanisms in place to to interview these people and see who's at risk of, of persecution. And, and uh, it's something we've been doing for years, and it hasn't caused any major crises or catastrophes. So well, it's, it's weird that it's on the news. But, you know, this election is all about caravan and, and Kavanaugh. That's what Trump said the other day. So. Uh, appreciate um, the phone call, Ronald Reagan. But now the bomb is distracting. Uh, I also will make a prediction that 15 minutes after the election will be the last time you hear about the caravan.